evaluation of um, an observation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, oh, do you mean that to mean that it's a, a it's, judgment? It's, it's you're <coughs> expressing your feelings. On, you're expressing your, your feelings. There's, a, there's an observation tacked onto that. It's, sure. It's a truthful observation. There's an observation. And you're not supporting an emotion in yours with mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So I, I got a lot of interesting reactions to that. I, I think that this is a, a statement of a feeling. I think this is a statement of, of I made an observation that you are not supporting the medical amnesty policy. That results, and I am now feeling sad that I'm seeing that in the world. Just a, just an, just a, a obser it's almost an observation about my feeling, if you want to think about it that way. When we talk about feelings, we want to make observations about our feelings. Um, so it's interesting, um, maybe there were some things I could tweak in that example to make that a little clearer. It's interesting that I got so many people that thought it was a judgment, um, but unfortunately I don't think yeah, I don't have time to go into that right now. But, um, uh, so I'm going to move on to need. And, um, so a need. And I've kind of been beating around the bush of needs. I've been mentioning them here and there. And I wish I had more time for this. But um, needs are a lot of the cornerstone of what NBC is about. It's about connecting with your personal needs and the needs of other people. And you can see on the very last page, there's a list of, and none of these lists, the feelings list or the needs list are not uh, all inclusive. They contain all the needs and feelings that ever have been experienced in the whole wide world, but they're supposed to help you kind of get, you You can look at those need lists and you can see it's pretty wide. We need things such as honesty and peace and autonomy and food and water, but we also need things like play and joy, and humor, and creativity, and love. So anyway, so we have a lot of needs. We're very needy people. We don't like to think that we're needy people, but we are. We have needs, and other people have needs. And that's, what, uh, and that's a big distinction of what I was talking about earlier when I was saying we're moving from conflict situations to cooperative situations. We're moving from situations where I get what I want, I'm anti-you, to let's meet everyone's needs. Now, the way you meet everyone's needs, what, what people often say is that one, for, to be happy or to achieve better happiness, one would want to cling tightly to needs and hold loosely strategies. Strategies are things that we want. Strategies are wants that we have to meet needs. So I might need reliable transportation to get to work. I want a Ferrari, mm. right? Two different things there. One is a strategy and one is a need. This Ferrari is a strategy, right? I, I, I need reliable transportation to, to, to get to work. I've come up with a strategy to do that and that strategy mm. is to go and buy a Ferrari. Then, you know, whether you can actually actualize that strategy or not is a whole other thing. But you see that the buying the Ferrari is just a strategy to, uh, is just a plan of action to meet a need. And your plan of action is, well, you may have a preferred plan of action. I want a Ferrari. That is my preferred method of getting that need met. And that's the difference. We want everyone's needs to be met, not everyone's preferred. Your preferred strategy may not be always what you get in the end. You may not get the Ferrari, but if we work on it, we can at least get you reliable transportation to work. Um, so, oh, and then a, a, a good way that I found to figure out whether you're talking about a strategy or a deeper need is an acronym PLATO, which stands for person, location, action, uh, time, uh, or object. So if, a, if any of those things are in your statement, a person, a location, action, time, or object, you're talking about a strategy. You're not talking about a need. And you, I mean, you're talking, there's needs under your strategies, right? There's something there, but you'll want to push yourself, you'll want to push your listening of the other person a little bit deeper to try to figure out, all right, they're talking about that they want the Ferrari, but what is it that they really, What's really driving that? And then we can connect with that. Because I might not be able to connect well with someone who says I want a Ferrari. 
I can't afford a Ferrari, I, can, you know, I, I don't connect well with that. But I can connect with, I need reliable transportation to work. Yeah, I can connect with that, right? Um, so so if, if any of those are present, then we're probably talking about <coughs> a strategy over a need. Um, that's a helpful guide. So let's, let's do a couple of these examples. Um, I feel angry when you, when you say that because I want some respect for my hard work. And when you say that, all I hear is an insult. Is that an honest expression of an observation, feeling, and a need not getting met? I would agree with everyone. Yeah. It's pretty honest. Like, you say X. I didn't put when what X is. But, you know, you, you would probably want to say, you know, when you say whatever it is that they say. Um, you know, and quote it. If you can quote, that's so much better than when, than when we make generalizations. Because you can just, again, it's all about taking that photograph. When you said those words, they can't debate. They know they said those words. It came out of their mouth. They heard it too. Then I feel this and I need that and all that, right? Um, so, I have a need for respect. We all have needs for respect, right? And we feel angry when those needs aren't being met. I, I like that you're emphasizing the importance of the observational statement because I mm -hmm. feel like a lot of times our emotions get in the way of, our, of the like, validity of our observations and we'll tend to exaggerate the situation yeah. and that'll just exacerbate. Yeah, because yeah, we get into you know, those emotional responses fire off our adrenaline which shoots us into that fight or flight well, freeze reaction yes. and then all of a sudden they become an enemy image. We've created an image of them without seeing who they really are. Yeah. yeah. I also like how they say all I hear is an insult rather than you're insulting me. So yeah. it's not a judgment, it's more of a how I feel and how I see it. Yeah, yeah sure, Cody, and just kind of, you know, straight out with it. Yeah. That I feel this way. I you. do. Yeah, absolutely. That's spot on. It's all about, and, it, it's a, and, and part of that, why I put it in like that, is it's about taking responsibility. The person just took responsibility. I feel, I hear an insult. That's about me. I'm not saying you gave me an insult. I'm taking responsibility for what I'm hearing. This is what I hear. Not, you know, I, I'm asking for help so I don't hear that in the future. That's part of what this person, we're going to get to what the request is, which is the fourth part. Um, you know, it's not in this example. But the request is, you know, how do I not hear that? Help me not hear an insult when you say those words. But it's still, I'm taking responsibility that I'm hearing it. You may or may not be intending to send me an insult. I don't know. You may think that you have very good intentions behind saying what you said. Maybe you don't mean that. <coughs> Whatever. Yeah, absolutely. I feel insulted is better than, or avoid the fight, flight, freeze reaction uh, that you're insulting me activates. Um, so let's go to the next one. Uh, I'm pissed that you left the, the busted film at your house. Is that expressing? Uh, that word feelings and needs. Mm -hmm. your feelings. Yeah. There's an object in location. There's an object. Yeah, he doesn't. He hasn't said anything that he needs really. Ob object location. You left that thing and that house and it needs to be at this place with that. Yeah. What did you think about um, anger being a secondary emotion? Yeah. That? Yeah. No. All right. So that. Yeah, so that comes up in NBC all the time. I actually wasn't going to go into that in this talk, uh, but the next level of NBC would go into the fact that anger isn't real. That really, there's some anger is motivated as a, a an unfelt feel, a, a feeling of dissatisfaction. If you look at that chart, it's one of those feelings when you're not satisfied combined with the judgment of should. So I feel sad, and you shouldn't have made me feel sad. Now I'm angry. If we stick with I'm sad, we don't get angry. If I don't move, take the next step of you shouldn't have done that, then I don't have to be angry. I can just stick with sadness. And it's so much, I know uh, we fear the vulnerability of sadness and expressing that, and now that person knows I'm sad, and now I'm vulnerable to them. But the connection is so much better. So much better. Yeah, I know, time. Um, so let's get to number four. No, you're actually like... Yeah, it's like 12, 7. Oh, okay, well I need to at least do the last part. I need to do request. I know. I'm, I, I apologize for any unmet needs that me going late is going to cause, but I need to at least get at what request is. Um, requests are doable, and this is a, they're doable, specific, and they're positive. 
Requests are not, stop doing that. Requests are, please do this. Requests are not, give me more respect. Requests are, next time will you ask for my permission? Requests are, uh, you know, not uh, gain superpowers and save uh, my baby from the fire. Requests are, call the fire department. You know, they're doable, they're specific, and they're positive. And then there are three types of requests. Um, connection requests. Uh, I'm hoping you'd be willing to help me understand what's going on for you. Partnership requests. I'm wondering if you'd be willing to work with me on this so we are both happy, so we can meet all the needs. Uh, and action requests. I'm hoping you'd be willing to do, or I'd be, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that you'd be willing to wait until I finish speaking and then I will remain silent while you speak. So those are three different kind of categories of requests. Um, obviously some encourage more of that relationship and connection than others. However, some require more time than others do. So you want to use one of, you know, the, those three requests, types of requests, connection requests, partnership re requests, and action requests. You want to weigh what's, you know, whether you have time or whether you are, I have enough time to delve into relationships. I know I'm way over, uh, so I think we have to end there. But... Well, thank you all, um, and thank you for listening and, and being so attentive. They'll see a couple of things before everyone runs away. Um, you'll see that there are lots of more activities in that handout that I covered uh, in this talk. So feel free to go home and do them yourself, especially the last activity in that handout, which is called dissolving or breaking down or something like that, enemy images, which is a fantastic exercise where you can take something in your own personal life and really break it apart using OFNR and figure out what's going on there. And then if anyone would like, I have business cards up here, contact information for me, it's also in your handout. Uh, I do this sort of thing all the time and would be willing to do it many, many times if anyone wants to contact me uh, to do presentations with their groups, to do mediation on conflicts, or to do talks, awesome, whatever. Very yeah. nice. Or you just need help in the meantime. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.